Every breath, every breath. Good morning. I've got lots to say this morning. What else do you have to say? Good morning, you guys. Avery and I are just hanging out. Bless you. Bless you. In uh, my bed right now. She woke up a little early, so I brought her into bed with me. We just look kind of hanging. I've been feeding her some milk this morning before the boys get up. But I thought I'd do a little day in the life as much as I can. Um, I'm not watching Ivy today, even though it is a weekday. Uh, my sister took the day off of school because she has to go to a dentist appointment. So she was like, oh, I'll just take the whole day off. So I was like, oh, maybe I can actually vlog like my life today. So we're going to try. Um, today is January 30th, which means that Avery is 10 months old today. You are 10 months old. 10 months old today. No, you're not. We have to do her photo shoot today. I meant to do her letterboard last night. I should have, and it it didn't even cross my mind once. So I need to go and make her letterboard. And um, of course, it's a school day, so I got to get Grace into school. And today's Tuesday, so Porter has preschool as well. So I got to drive him to school and then go pick him up. So it'll be a busy-ish day. And then, of course, getting little pictures of Avery to mark that she's 10 months old. So, yeah, I thought I'd just bring you guys along with me. Anthony's going to go into the office today. He usually goes in on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so he won't be here. And, yeah, we'll just kind of see where the day goes. So, come along with me. We have 30 minutes until the bus comes, so we have time to play a board game. And I picked out matching. But that is a card game. Mm-hmm. So we got Grayson all dressed and ready for school. We've got Porter all dressed. He actually put his pants on and his socks on and his undies on all by himself. I just had help with the shirt. And he's claiming that something is stuck in his ear. So we're working on that. Avery's still in her jammies. I usually keep her in her jammies till after her first nap of the day. And we are just hanging out for a little bit. We usually have lots of time to kill in the morning before the bus comes. So we usually play like a board game. Or I guess today we're doing a card game until it's time to get ready for the bus. Grayson gets on the bus at 8.45. And then almost immediately after he gets on the bus, I turn around and get Porter in the car. And then I take Porter and Avery. I can't leave her home alone. And I take them, and we go to preschool, drop off Porter, and then I come back here, and I put Avery down for her morning nap. So that's what we're doing this morning. Okay, so it's been a little bit. I got Grayson on the bus. He's at kindergarten right now. And then I turned around, got Porter to preschool. So he's at preschool right now. And then Avery got tired, so I went and put her down for a nap. So I'm actually taking a couple minutes to myself. It's been quite nice now that I'm not doing anything I'm like taking out the trash unloading and reloading the dishwasher I worked on Avery's letter board for today so I'll show you guys that this is the letter board I made she's 10 months old today so I need to do all of her pictures her new things this month as she waves hi and she loves playing peekaboo so I got that done I wanted to talk to you guys because I don't think I've mentioned it on the vlog before I'm trying out a new thing, um, it's called intermittent fasting. I'm sure everybody's heard of this before. My husband, Anthony, has done it for several years now, here and there. He used to do it where it was eight hours on, 16 hours off. You eat for eight hours and then you fast for 16 hours. And he did that for a long time. And then in the past year, he kind of kicked it up a notch because he really wanted to lose a lot of weight. 
And so he started fasting every other day. So for a whole 24 hours or sometimes a little more, he would fast and not eat. And he's actually picked that back up. He just started that last week. So all day yesterday, he did not eat. And then today when he woke up, he actually went and worked out, ran for an hour and then came home and then ate. So he's eating today. I don't think I'm that adventurous uh, to do something like that but i am dabbling in intermittent fasting the 16 hours off eight hours on so what i do is i eat from 10 a.m until 6 p.m and that's my eight hours from 6 p.m to 10 a.m the next day i don't eat so i don't have my late night snacking which is really hard sometimes I like ice cream at night or just snacks and then in the morning, it's really tough because I get up with the kids at like 7 a.m. And then I can't eat until 10. So I'm just trying it just to kind of see if it does anything. I find that the more pregnancies I have, the harder it is for me to lose weight. When I had my first Grayson, I bounced back really fast and my body like basically got back to what it was. Then when I had my second porter, it was like my body, it took a while to get back and then even then it wasn't back like all the way. I still kind of had like a pouch in my belly. And then with Avery, my third, it's like, okay, now my body's like, okay, you need to do something because we can't just bounce back. So I'm trying this intermittent fasting just to kind of see if it's gonna do anything for me. I'm not really much of a workout person. I don't really have the time. I'm so busy with the kids. It's just not that season in my life right now. But maybe intermittent fasting is something that would help and that I could do pretty easily. I mean, it's annoying to not be able to eat at certain times, but maybe it's something that I can easily fit into my day-to-day -day life. So I'm just dabbling in it. I'll let you know if I see any results. Um, I've just been doing it here and there, but Anthony just told me that I can't just do it here and there. I either have to like be committed to it if I wanna see results. So yeah, I don't know, I'll try. Anyway, so I'm just hanging out. Um, it's 10.10 now, so I can eat and have my coffee and all the things so I'm gonna go eat because I'm hungry and then I gotta get the kids and Avery will be up soon and I've got to feed her her cereal and do her photo shoot so I'll pull the camera out as the day goes on all right so the kids are now all awake and back from school Porter had a good day at preschool what did you learn about at preschool Port? I don't I What'd yeah. you learn about? A long dog. You learned about the groundhog, right? He said he learned about Puxatawney Phil. Avery had a really good nap. She slept a lot later than she usually does. And Grayson, Grayson say hi. Hi. Grayson said he celebrated his 100th day of school. Yeah, that's why 100th day of school. Woo! He said they counted to 100 on Go Noodle. And what else did you do? When they counted 10 by 10, <coughs> every kid just said what, what I said. Oh, you counted by 10s? <laughs> no, by 1s. Oh, you counted by 1s? Did everybody know how to count to 100? Uh -huh. Stop, what? Before we did it, we counted to 100. At the library? No. Oh, you, you counted to 100 before, and then you had library. Uh -huh. Grayson has library about once a week, and every week he gets to pick new books. And in the first semester, he only got to pick one book every week and, and rent it from the library. And But this time, now that it's after winter break, he gets to rent three books a week. And come show, show the camera what books you picked from the library today. He picked Dogman, Mothering Heights. So he got two Dogman books and a Captain Underpants book. When I was little, I read Captain Underpants. And I thought that was a really funny book. And now the same author has made a new book that's similar to Captain Underpants and he calls it Dogman. And Dogman is like not as crude. It's still crude, but it's not as crude as Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants is pretty crude. So I'm not always psyched when Gray gets that, but 
He loves Dogman. So those are the books he picked from library this week. But yeah, I can't believe Grayson has been to school for 100 days now. I've been seeing people celebrate 100 days like in the past couple weeks, so I knew it was coming up. But I thought maybe they would make us like decorate something with 100 things. I've seen people on YouTube do that, but maybe it's like a first grade or second grade thing in kindergarten. It was just a day. So anyway, yeah, Gray, um, Gray had a good day. Porter had a good day, although Porter's having a meltdown because it's getting closer and closer to nap time. Porter still needs one nap a day. Not super long, but he does need it because he acts out when he doesn't get his nap. So I'm going to put him down for a nap soon. Avery's going to have her second nap soon. And then I still got to take pictures of Avery. I haven't done that yet. She's 10 months old today. The rest of the day, we don't really have much going on. We're gonna make some muffins. We usually do that about once a week and I give the kids muffins for breakfast. We do like blueberry muffins or there's like a mixed berry muffins that we make. And then Anthony will come home tonight and I plan on making a dinner since he's eating today. I usually don't make dinners on the days that Anthony fasts and then I make them on the days that he is eating. So he is eating, so we will make some dinner i usually pick like three or four recipes a week to make and i kind of change it up week to week so we'll see what um we're in the mood for for tonight uh... <laughs> We just finished taking Avery's 10 month outfit pic or 10 month old pictures and they went really well. I had to get her smile with this little like avocado toy. She, I don't know what it is, but recently she really likes us hitting her head. It makes her laugh. I mean, we do it gently, but she thinks it's funny. Are you 10 months old today? She looks so big in her chair. She's getting better every day sitting up. Also, I wanted to update you guys. I was putting Avery down for a nap earlier and I got a call from Help Me Grow unexpectedly. And they said they actually found a physical therapist who's willing to take Avery on their caseload. So I'm so excited about that. We have a Zoom meeting next Monday to get like paperwork going and introductions. And then I think we'll schedule physical therapy from there. So I'm so excited. We actually got on to somebody's caseload. It's free through the state. We don't have to pay for it. They were telling me that it was going to be impossible to find someone because everybody's caseload is full and there's a huge wait list to get to these physical therapists but they got her into somebody so I'm so excited um, I'm hoping that this will really help Avery um, get to that like next step and develop the way she should and catch up to where she should be so so excited for that so this is actually turning into be like a really productive day so that was really exciting but yeah so we just took some pictures I'll input some here um, that I got <laughs> Here, he wants to be looking for the avocado. He went to avocado. There you go. She's been recently um, transferring things from hand to hand, which is a really big milestone. So it's really good she can do that. And she likes to shake toys, don't you? And I don't know if you can tell, but her head is... It, the circumference is small, but she's got a really big forehead. So these bows are just like not doing it anymore. We need bigger bows. Huh, they worked when she was little, but now that she's almost a year, it's like, we need to get bigger bows. Don't we? Can you say mama? She's like, no, I'm just going to play with my avocado. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, careful. All right, we finished pictures. I got Porter up. From nap, although I don't think he took a nap the whole time. I walked in his room and he has on about 10 pairs of socks. 
on either foot. And he had a bunch of socks all over the floor. So yeah, no nap from Porter today. But we're making muffins, so Porter's helping me stir. And Grayson's reading his new dog man book. And Avery is working on some tummy time over here. She, well, she was, she's on her side now, looking at the lights on the kick play piano. And it has started, I've been telling the boys it's like snow slash raining out because like it starts at snow in the ground or in the sky, but then by the time it gets to the ground, it just melts. It's supposed to do this till like eight, I think. So yeah, we're definitely not going outside. Although in just a few days, it's gonna get up to like 50. Like this weekend on Sunday, it's supposed to get up to like 53 degrees. It's gonna be warm. So you know, it's been nice, Daddy. especially for like February. That'll be pretty good. No. Uh oh, what happened? Uh oh, what happened? Don't worry, I'll do it. Well, you're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to put, mix it in, honey. Oh man. All right, so it is almost five o'clock. I am making dinner. We are going to make some Parmesan crusted pork chops or pork tenderloin and um, serve it with some rice peel off. This is a really good recipe, it's really yummy. So I'm making that right now. I haven't heard from Anthony, but I'm assuming he's gonna be on his way home soon. Look at how cute these boys are right now. So I've got Grayson here. He's reading a book. <laughs> Little Porter is reading a book as well. It's so cute. They just did this on their own. I didn't even tell them to do it. And Avery is bouncing in her bouncer while I make dinner. Hey, Gray, don't chew on that, Kay. Look, Mommy. You read this play song. Read this song. One. Check. <laughs> This is Grayson's sixth one. Yes. <laughs> this is Porter's seventh one. Yes. <laughs> this is Grayson's seventh one. Yes. <laughs> this is Porter's eighth one. Chest. What does he say? <laughs> Chest. <laughs> this is Grayson's eighth one. Ocho. Ocho. <laughs> this is Porter's ninth one. Chest. Chest. <laughs> Chest. This is Grayson's ninth one. The weather. This is Porter's last one. Chest. Chest. Tris. Is that what he's saying? Is he just saying three for everyone? Trace. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. This is Grayson's last one. Yes. <laughs> All right, boys, it's time to go to bed. <laughs>